Hello all, welcome to Let's Learn Optometry. In our previous video, we saw about the push-up test to measure the amplitude of accommodation. We saw the procedure, the calculation and the sources of error. If you have not watched the video yet, please watch it before start watching this video. In this video, we will see about the pull-away method. This is done to measure the amplitude of accommodation. Here, the patient responds by naming the letters or target as soon as they can identify it rather than when they first notice the subjective impression of blur as in push-up test. This method is particularly useful in children who cannot understand what sustained blur is. Procedure This test is done monocularly first and then binocular measurement is taken. The best distance correction is placed in the trial frame. We are going to test the right eye so the left eye is occluded. Explain to the patient that you will hold a navision chart close to his nose or closed lids. The chart will be moved slowly away from him and he has to report as soon as he can read the target pointed by your finger. After explaining the patient, begin the procedure. The patient should not know the identity of the target before the procedure. Ask the patient to close the lids and hold the navision chart close to his lids with your finger pointing the N6 target. Now, instruct him to open the lids and slowly move the chart away from him until the N6 letters are readable. When the patient reads the target, the distance from the eye or spectacle plane to the chart is measured and converted into diopters. Example, if the target becomes readable at 12 cm, then the amplitude of accommodation is 1 over 0.12 meters, which is 8.33. So, the amplitude of accommodation here is 8.33 diopters. Remember to compensate for any additional power added. Watch our push-up test video to know why to add additional power and how to compensate it. After calculating the amplitude of accommodation, check whether it is normal for his age. Watch our accommodation video to know how to find the normal amplitude for the age. Important points Make sure the distance refraction is correct. Incorrect refraction will lead to overestimation of amplitude values in myopes and underestimation in hyperopes. Ensure adequate elimination of the target. The patient should not know the identity of the target before the test starts. This test can be done with addition power in press biopes and remember to reduce the power to get the final value. Add minus 4 diopters in varying patients to move the near point further away and remember to add this value to get the final value. Remember that the amplitude of accommodation values obtained from pull away method will be slightly lower than the push up value. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more optometry and eye care videos.